Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Solana. In this video, we want to take a look at what I'm watching for today and what could be important today. Um, as I said in yesterday's video, the third wave is likely still extending. We saw that clearly when the price broke above the previous high, but that doesn't change anything um, in terms of the bigger picture. If anything, it actually will help the price to get to that 179.70 level, which is the next ideal target anyway for this wave C of B um, as per previous updates. Because if the, 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 the third wave extends a little bit, it becomes more probable that also the fifth wave can actually stretch towards it. Um, that is quite that works quite well in terms of proportions because if the wave three is too short, then the wave five would have to get very extended to actually get there. I mean, not impossible, but if we get a if we get the right proportions in here, that's that's even better. That's that's even better. So the idea is that we could be in the third wave in the B wave, maybe something more bullish, but that would need to be proven. First of all, we want to see if we can stretch to $179.70 here. We take it level by level with these altcoins. And if after that high, the price can hold another 4-5 pattern or form another 4-5 pattern, that would be further evidence than for the yellow scenario. Yeah, but for now, um, we're watching if the price can get to 179 $179.70. That is my expectation until we break below 138.66 because this is key support. Support levels did hold. Um, also, I had this support area here before when the price also reached the 38.2 retracement and bounced off. But even, even though this support area worked nicely, my idea was that the third maybe had topped already and we're already in the fifth. But I think latest price action makes it more probable that we're still in the third. This upside momentum just suggests we are in the third also if that you know it is possible this was wave four but it's just it doesn't have the right look okay there will be every elite wave analysts who count it like that but i always try to have a healthy wave four um it just is the more probable scenario typically you know if if the wave two and the wave four roughly have a similar length duration and so on so looking at this structure, then the price has now reached the trend line that we talked about this level at $159, $160. And I would say today what becomes important is here possible to watch for a possible breakout. If that breakout happens, then it could maybe even take a direct path to $179.70. There is also some structural resistance around $193, but that's quite a bit higher than this $179 level. 179 should lead to a reaction because it is the 100% extension of the initial A wave to the upside and we can compare that with the length of the C wave. That's just a typical target. Um, a direct breakout, while possible, I would definitely also pay attention to a possible pullback, which could be an opportunity. So depending on how, if, you are, if you're trading this, you know, there are obviously breakout traders among you or pullback traders. So I think in both counts, we can watch for upside continuation. The question is if the market offers a pullback for a cheaper entry in this setup. If you're trading this, it's not a setup for everybody. It's only a 4-5 pattern. Um, sometimes the market doesn't offer a pullback. It doesn't have to. The third could easily extend a bit higher before that pullback starts. The, the white C wave is in, you know, in no way limited to 179.70. Could easily extend higher. Okay, so we could easily go a bit higher like that and the wave four starts a bit later. So I can really only fix this support area yeah, um, on the chart once we have a third wave top and we don't have one yet. What we typically watch for is that the third wave reaches at least the 1.38 extension. I think that's that's been done. That was reached yesterday at 153.58 and the 1.618 is the next level that's at 158.50 we've done that now as well the next level above that and that is absolutely still common for a third wave is 162.14 and 166.85 so obviously if there is a direct breakout the risk is always that there is a fake out i think a a higher low you know pulling back getting some strength for the breakout would actually be better for a more sustain, sustained breakout. But if there is a breakout, these levels could generate resistance and it might just turn into a fake out, then a pullback, then a rally. Either way, whatever the pathway the market takes and only the market will decide, $138.66 is support and it takes minimally 
a break below that 138.66 level, the lower boundary of the orange micro support to indicate that a top is in place. That's the update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.